What's going on guys, it's your boy the Markham Knight here. Today's video is going to be all about the potential of Henry Cavill returning as Superman or basically staying as Superman because technically he has not left yet. But this is him potentially staying on as Superman for the DCEU in its entirety. And let's talk about the potential of that. Now, for those of you who have not watched Peacemaker and do want to watch that or at least watch the season finale, I'd say watch that first because this is going to be a spoiler for that, but you might have already heard about it. We got a Justice League cameo, very, very brief, in that season finale. So I do want to take a look at that first before we talk about what James Gunn said about it afterwards. So let's go take a look at that first, and I'm going to kind of break down what's going on. So this is Peacemaker seeing the Justice League show up a little bit late after they've already saved the day and taken down the aliens. And he says to them, you're late dickheads, and he makes a joke about Aquaman fucking fish. And we get to see the Justice League kind of see him walk away. Really, really cool. Alright, so that's really, really cool. We got to see that. Now what we didn't get to see is the interview that James Gunn did. And this kind of explained why Batman and Cyborg were not a part of the group. So he did, he was asked about it, and he said he spoke to Jason Momoa from the beginning and kind of let him know ahead of time that he was going to do a lot of Aquaman fucking fish jokes, and, Aqu and Jason Momoa was okay with it, so he asked him if he would want to do a cameo, which was cool, and then it turns out Ezra Miller and James Gunn knew a lot of the same kind of people, and he was down to be a part of the cameo as well, so he wanted to do those two. He said he never even broached the idea with Henry Cavill or Gal Gadot because it, did, it wasn't even supposed to be... Uh, the Flash in there either. But then he was asked why Cyborg and Batman were not a part of this group. And that's very interesting. I I'm going to quote him directly here. This is from Variety. So I'm going to quote him directly. He said, you know, I don't know what I can. There are reasons for it. But I'm actually uncertain whether I can say those reasons, say what those reasons are. He said it might have to do with future stuff. Now, we do know that Cyborg right now with the Ray Fisher versus Warner Brothers thing, he's probably not going to get anything else going on. And then we know for a fact that Batman, Ben Affleck's Batman, is leaving the series. We know that for a fact. He's leaving the franchise. He will not be Batman after the Flash movie. What we don't know is whether or not Superman is leaving. But the fact that we see that Aquaman has Aquaman 2 coming out, the Flash has the Flash movie, and obviously... Um, excuse me, Gal Gadot has Wonder Woman 3 coming out. So with all those three things in, intact there, the fact that he would keep Henry Cavill Superman in here, because it was a good way to, you could have kept out Henry Cavill Superman. You didn't need Superman to be here at this moment. So it doesn't really make sense that why he would keep Cavill when obviously Ray Fisher and Ben Affleck, who are Cyborg and Batman, are exiting the franchise. So does that mean that Cavill's staying long term and we're gonna keep him for that? Because a lot of people went crazy when we heard rumors, and mind you, those are still just rumors, that Supergirl, Sash Kai Supergirl, will be taking over, and so will Michael Keaton. Now, I do think Michael Keaton will probably proceed as Batman, and there's going to be like an older Batman who's going to train someone younger in the Batgirl movie. I do feel like that's going to happen. But I don't think Supergirl is replacing Superman. I don't think Sasha Kai Supergirl is supposed to replace Superman because Flash is going to be jumping from universe to universe in the Flash movie. So I think that Supergirl is a different universe Supergirl. And I do think if they want to make Henry Cavill Superman movies moving forward, they can definitely do that. It still makes complete sense because this is not just the Flashpoint of where the Flash goes back in time and changes things because they did say enter another, they are entering other universes in this and the Flash is in contact with different universe characters, including Michael Keaton's Batman and including Sasha Kai's Supergirl. Now, Michael Keaton's Batman will be returning to the DCEU, or at least we think so. So do we know if Henry Cavill is gonna get replaced? I personally don't think he's gonna be replaced. I think with James Gunn keeping Henry Cavill's Superman in here, that's kind of a big sign because Cyborg and Batman are not in here. Ray Fisher and Ben Affleck are out and they are not in this cameo. The fact that he included Henry Cavill's Superman even though the actor Henry Cavill is not there, I think that says a lot about whether or not they want to do that. I think they want to keep it open-ended in case they can come to a deal with Henry Cavill Superman and maybe they'll make a big announcement at some point. Anyways guys, this was my quick breakdown of the Justice League cameo and what James Gunn had to say about it and what I think that means. Did you guys watch The Peacemaker? 
It was amazing in my opinion, but did you watch it? And if you did, had the Justice League cameo hit you, let me know and tell me what you think. This is the Marvel Knight, and I need you to like, comment, and subscribe.